hello guys and welcome to my new grid 2 setup profile video for all of the healers and as you can see here i'm actually on my abandoned resto shaman that hope is going to be high level and i'm going to show you how to set up grid 2 how to make it look like mine and i'm going to give you my uh, grid 2 profile for resto juice and just just basically go through what's in there but first i just wanted to show you some basic concepts of what you can do with grid and some of the things you should be able to do in case you want to change something in case you want to do in case there's a specific raid debuff which you need to be shown on grid and it's not shown in the first few weeks of the raid because it's not updated yet and this happens all the time so you kind of so first just the whole import and how to set everything up this is not this is not what your grid is going to look like most likely so i'm just going to uh, quickly put uh, some random profile so this is what great your grid 2 might look like i'm not going to show you how to set up the positions and everything because that's up to you where you want to keep the positions and then um, how you're going to lay out and for me because i'm using real ui add-on compilation my grid 2 position actually automatically changes on the grid size if you see my other videos it tries to keep an even balance between between my bars here but let's say this is what you have on your grid 2 setup it's pretty bad uh, i will give you a grid 2 profile it's just going to be a paste bin file which is going to include my resto druid profile all you have to do is just go at the bottom and just copy it all and uh, just copy all of the text uh, go back to your game, grid 2, forward slash grid 2, uh, go to your profile, advanced, and import profile. After you click that, just control V and paste, okay, for select the control V and paste all of the stuff that you just copied and accept. And you can see here straight away that the style and everything has changed. If the style did not change, I am using background texture plain. Uh, Obviously, when I use Riptide and stuff with Alma Shaman, it's not going to show up here because it's only optimized for Resto Druids. I might share my Shaman Moon profile later on, but that doesn't matter. So, how do you work with Grid 2? So, let's say I want to Grid to show my Riptide. You just go to Grid 2. You go to Indicators. Don't worry about these Indicators. You probably won't. Uh, if you're starting off with Grid 2 fresh, you won't see these. But you go to Indicators. And you can go type any... When you go to the type at the very top you see indicators and then go to type you just select icon and then he actually gives you the default location let's say i want one to be at the bottom top left top left i want top left one and you pick the name i want ripped out to be shown press ok everything seems fine and create indicator and now you should see able to, you should be able to see riptide in the under indicators here so this is what happens you created an indicator and this is the list of all your buffs and debuffs that you ever created that can be used to display them uh, basically where they're coming from is from if you minimize indicators statuses you go to buffs or debuffs buffs, debuffs, and you can add specific buffs and debuffs and those specific buffs and debuffs will be shown in your indicators and in this case, in Riptide, these indi these buffs and debuffs can be shown here. Now, I actually don't. Maybe I do have Riptide uh, buff created. I do have a Riptide buff created, right? Because of my Shaman. But basically, what you want to do is go to Statuses, go to Buffs. You select Buff. You enter the name. Riptide. It shows up straight away. ID 61295, Riptide, Restoration Waves, Wash Over a Friendly Target, Healing them to 20,000, you select it, you can create Show with Mine and then Create Buff. The reason I don't have Create Buff is because I already have Riptide selected. So let's just say you created the Buff Riptide and then you created an indicator called Riptide as well. And now it's actually not showing anything. In here you can see it's shown here but it's actually not doing anything. What you want to do here is select your buff riptide and this means that this is going to be shown on the top indicator on the top left you can see here the cooldown is actually not working so let's add a cooldown to it we go back to grid 2 we go back to indicators and then we go back 
to Riptide. Then you can see here you have two tabs, you have statuses and layout. Right now in statuses we have added the both Riptide to be shown in top left. In the layouts you have the options to change the location. Let's say you want to change the offset. You can see Riptide here and you can change the offset left, left or right. Let's say I want to keep it there and a bit down. There you go, it's a bit square, it's a bit more square. There you go, you can see my Riptide going away. I'm going in. and now I want to show a cooldown and uh, so I can actually disable cooldowns and I can disable on Omni CC so the cooldown is actually supposed to be shown um, actually sometimes it depends on the size so if you make the size a bit bigger you can see sometimes the cooldown will not be shown because in my case the cooldown animation of font used to show the countdown 8 9 10 is quite big so i need the actual icon size to be bigger so i make it 19. there is there is options to change the font size here this is for stacks actually there's no options to change the size of the of the cooldown font itself it it is for me because i use real ui but it's within real ui configurations which i'm not going to show you because you might not be using real ui but basically if it, it might not be shown, just make the icon a bit bigger. So you can see here now, I have a Riptide buff. I can see that I have 17 seconds on me. And I can refresh it. And that's your first ever icon created. And um, you can use this technique basically to create everything you want in it. Um, the second most important thing that I should cover is, create, is showing rate, deb rate debuffs. On your grid because there's a lot of there's a lot of moments especially for say mythic guam in uh, trials of valor where you had to specify each person who has uh the fire devils and things like that and it might not be shown in grid and this is like i mean this is hugely important if you want to dispel things and stuff like that so by default if you go to let's minimize this if you go into statuses you can see that there is the debuff section. You go into the debuff section, you can add all the debuffs you want. But you also can go to debuffs and you'll see definitely, because this is by default added to you, raid debuffs. And in raid debuffs, they usually have Legion and Night Hall, and they probably will have the latest uh, Doom of as well added. But it might come a week or two afterwards. So you can see here, Scarfire and all of these debuffs that basically will be shown on your grid. You can actually disable, enable them, and things like that. But well, let's say you want, like in my case, I don't want the debuff to be shown. I want the debuff to be shown, but I also want the debuff to be shown without a cooldown, just showing me stacks. So this is exactly what I did for uh, Spellblade, where I wanted to see how many stacks a Frost, uh, Frost guy had, and Tychonjus, if they were affected by Plague, I wanted to see how many stacks they had. I didn't want to see the duration, I, to see, I wanted to see the duration and the stacks. And there will probably be a video clip showing it. How I end up doing it, but here, here is how you can actually do it. So you go to raid. It. So the spell is already there; it's already added. If you if you need to add it manually, just go to debuffs and just type in debuff and enter the spell ID. But in here, it's already added, so we can go to. We don't need cooldown. We don't need high button is crosses the conjures, and it was called carrying play. Uh, Carrying play. So, and then you go here, and then you can do copy to debuffs. And you'll see here that it usually starts with Tychondrius. Tychondrius is the first name. So, you can see here Tychondrius Carrion Play has been added in your debuff section. So, therefore, this is a specific debuff that you have, and I want it to be shown. And I have an indicator, and I created another indicator. Let's say it's created somewhere like it's created in here in, called no cooldowns you go you go to any indicator that you create it can be equally okay it could be riptide one you can go to riptide one i want and then you go to debuffs and then you look for tychondrius carry and play as you can see here that's tychondrius carry and play and you select it and now this debuff is going to be shown where the riptide is riptide is obviously not going to be shown if i was affected but uh affected by current plague it'll be shown in my top left hand corner and if you want to disable the cooldown you just click one of these and it'll disable cooldown and it'll show stacks and this is exactly how i did it 
So this is just a very small info, a very small guide on how to set up grid. I also created a separate video showcasing grid 2 profile for restoration druids. It is using my profile. It shows what kind of spells and how they are set up and the similar raid debuff scheme as well. And thank you guys for watching. Check the description below for the second video and I'll see you when